Joseph Sokal. I am at SPX 2019 on behalf of Becky Hilburn's Art YouTube channel. If you could introduce yourself, Shuna. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Shuna Browning. I am a cartoonist and illustrator. I make comics and yeah, cute stuff. <laughs> and Becca is a fan of your work, so she asked that I interview you specifically. I know uh, Kabocha, who is actually tabling with um, uh, Becca today, was particularly interested in afternoon tea. I'm um, So could you tell me a little about about that? Is that debuting at the show? Yeah. Um, so that's the scene I need about uh, tea because I really, really like tea, and I have a whole ton of feelings about it. So I was like, I know, I'm just gonna make it. Comic about it. <laughs> and it worked out because apparently, if you make things about things you like, people seem to like that. Is that how you normally approach comics? You just, yeah. You, okay. you find that you're interested in something and it's like, hey, I, I actually have something to say about this. Yeah, that's... it's usually like, it's usually like something that's just like, okay, like, like I really like the ocean and sharks, so I made a comic about the ocean and sharks, and I. That's like how Ellie the Stars came about. Just like spooky things. That's how Necromantic came about. Like Ellie the uh, Ellie of the Stars is, is was your main webcomic, right? Yes. With your guy. It's currently on hiatus, but I'm working on getting uh, everything to like print. But sure. Yeah. <laughs> so are you doing an offset printing for that, or are you? Uh, doing I print haven't on that? really thought about it yet. Okay. I've been just making everything in the right specs and just. Like, yeah, things yeah. coming as they go, seeing how much demand there is. For, exactly. Are you, do you know if you're going to do a Kickstarter for that, or you're just going to sell it for a shop? Maybe eventually. Okay. Um, it's not something that I'm super planning for right now. Yeah. It's just like, because it's probably going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like, fine. That's fine. Yeah. you've got a lot of work on your table. So. Yeah. Um, so you're sharing the table with, with how many people today at SPX? Um, so we have a half table, and I'm sharing with my good friend Escher. Okay. Who Hello. is a d delightful human being? <laughs> We're brothers and in you're arms. doing that for monetary reasons. I know tables can be expensive, or you just wanted to uh, right. table with someone that you, you know. I mean, like we're best friends, what do you want so me? like it's nice to share with somebody who you're really close with. Um, but yeah, and it also helps to split the cost. <laughs> okay. Um, so speaking of, did you travel to come to SPX? Where are you located normally? Yeah. Um, uh, Southern Virginia and the Virginia Beach area, so it's about four hours south of here. Okay, but so that's like just drivable distance. Did you drive or fly? Um, I took a train. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I, read the same I don't know why. Really I just good. assumed those were the only two options. <laughs> no, it's fine. Public transportation exists in uh, some places. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm from no, the south. Fine. So. You're fine. <laughs> Great. Yeah, no, the train like just goes straight here. It's great. You can sleep awesome. on it. <laughs> or read comics. Yeah. If you happen to buy a whole bunch of things at SPX this year. <laughs> I certainly do that a lot. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about Ellie of the Stars? Yeah, um, so it is an all ages adventure comic, uh, fantasy in space. A lot of people think because it's in, in space it's sci fi, but no, it is like straight up fantasy. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just like a cute little adventure about two kids and eventually three and their friendship and just like how they. They decide to solve yes, the problem sure. together. You have an adorable art style. Thank you so much. Um, so, uh, were you planning? I love you too. You were, is, is the webcomic in color? I'm sorry, I, I have not Yeah, um, so it started out in black and white. Um, actually, originally that first chapter, which has been redone, it was in black and white originally too. Um, but then I started, as I started doing more, um, it did eventually evolve to being in color. Yeah, definitely but, in recent years, like web comics have, have been a, a big push. Yeah, things being in color. Yeah, I, I feel like if you're doing like a web comic, it can be a little bit easier to get your work noticed if it's in color. Yeah, but like if you're doing it in print, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. Yeah, people are gonna put, pick up the book, especially if the cover is in color, and once they yeah. pick it up, you know, you have a chance to sell them on the story. Yeah, and it's like really that. That initial interest is what you're vying for with that color, I feel. Right, yeah. Once someone's invested, they don't care if it's in color. Exactly. Or 
So like with the print version, I'm just like, okay, because color was taking just way too long. It was, yeah. which is kind of why the comic went on hiatus because the pages were just taking massive amounts of time of time to make, and I have yeah. other stuff. And to do. I assume you're doing everything yourself. Right? Exactly, like, I do it all myself. Part, I don't so. get paid for it, so it's a labor of love. <laughs> right. So it's just like, okay, I can do it in black and white then. <laughs> uh, other than SPX being relatively close for you, what particularly drew you to the show? Um, Is this your first year, I guess? No, year? I've been com coming here since I was around like 21. So oh, okay. I think I started in 2014. Okay. Um, so I've been doing this show for a while. And yeah. like when I first started going here, I actually used to live in DC. So it was okay, super local for me. Yeah. yeah. So, and yeah. You could probably get your friends to come out and things like that. Yeah. You know people around. Right. If they don't have to travel, it's like an easy sell. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a really good show. Like, the first time I came here, I was an attendee. I had a whole ton of fun. It was like, it really inspired me to start, like, working harder on making comics and, like, kind of made me feel like there was, like, more of a community for this kind yeah, of thing. Being instead surrounded of, by not yeah. only all these artists, but all these people looking for, like, something creative not right. even necessarily like the famous people or whatever they just want to experience comics right like, that's yeah that's gotta be exciting i'm yeah. not a comic artist myself but um i can i can commiserate <laughs> yeah and like this kind of show is so great for finding new artists to like be like oh hey i really like this person's work and i've never seen their art before this is awesome <laughs> and how have people been responding to your work at the show um i assume some of these people have seen you before so they want to check out what you have to do. Uh, what about people who aren't that familiar with your work? Um, are they picking up your books and flipping through them? Yeah, for the most part. Like, and I love people picking up my books and taking a look. Like, and everyone is super duper sweet. Like, it's, it's so nice. Everyone's so nice. And uh, are you primarily featuring your comics on the table? Yeah. Do you have limited space? Or is that most of what you have to sell? Is, is so, I have other stuff, but for this kind of show, like I, I tailor, yeah, I tailor my setup for the kind of show that I'm doing, and SPX is it's so comic focused that like yeah. I That's don't do anything draw else. That's to your table, right? Uh, so you may as well just focus on on that. Exactly. Space. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And would would you advise other creators do that as well if they have a, a oh few definitely items? yeah curate like how you set up your table based on like what kind of show you're doing like yeah. that's that's like I would say that's a really good idea okay <laughs> Uh, and uh, can you speak to the demographic uh, that comes to SPX in general? I, I've noticed there aren't too many kids here. I don't know if it's been like that too much in the past. The last time we've come was 2013, uh, so I can't quite remember what the, the average person who came to the show was like, like what yeah. the background was like. But uh, can you speak to maybe how SPX crowd is different than other independent comic shows or other? Yeah, I would say. The crowd is mostly like it, it's not as many like for comics. yeah. I mean, Everyone's hungry for stuff. comics. It's yeah. great, <laughs> but like it's mostly like I would say adults and yeah. like a, adults that bring their kids sometimes too, which is nice for the kind of work that I do. Yeah. But um, and yeah. Do you find like they're particularly yeah. looking for horror, or they're particularly looking for romance, or anything like that, or they're just open to? I feel everything. like most people are just looking for something unique. I feel like they're not looking for anything like specific as much as just something unique yeah yeah cool. so i don't know <laughs> Any response? um i i'm i want to ask uh if you can share with us an experience that you've had in, in your comic career of uh, a decision you've made that's had like an, an, a tangible impact on your comic career uh, does anything in particular come to mind um, that's a broad question yeah it is so i'm i'm curious like uh, some people I've talked to said, you know, they took a course and had a, a lot of impact in encouraging them or building a community. You know, other people might say uh, they went to college and it really just sucked up a lot of money. The, just yeah, I, of, um, different things that have impacted their career. So I'm, I'm curious if you have anything to share that's like, well, I did this and either yeah. a good thing happened or a bad thing happened. You know? I would definitely say that I veer towards being very, very introverted and not necessarily talking to a lot of people. But like, I feel like 
in comics, like starting to like kind of talk to more people and make friends. It's like it really, really makes the experience so much less lonely and real, a lot more fun. And so you're like, talking about talking to people in, in real life, right? Or in, in real, life, real life, life, online, everywhere, like okay. all of it. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. And just like having a community and like having people that you can talk to and be like, hey, like. I, I like this thing, I'm thinking about making comic and having like people you can bounce ideas off of, like, I would say that was like a real game changer for me, because, sure. like, yes. And I know you've been part of the Improv community, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to hear that the community has, has inspired yeah, you. Yeah, and everyone in Inkdrop is so great, like, I love them all dearly, with all my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, well, thank you for sharing that. Um, do you have any thoughts uh, you'd like to share with a creator who's considering tabling at SPX for the first time? Yeah, just go for it. Like, I mean, write something or make something that, like, really makes you happy and, like, just do your best. And they're not all going to be winners, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, so you were you were saying you're selling out of some of your comics, so it sounds like you've had a good show so far. Yeah, like I would say. Is this what you're expecting? Um, no, actually, I. Okay. I mean, I. I usually at least make table back, but I don't don't usually like make money money at like yeah. these kinds of shows, which that's, is like that's most fine. People, so yeah, it's fine. No in that. Yeah, and I I come here to have a good time and talk to strangers about comics. So. <laughs> Okay. But, I mean, yeah, you're no. doing the right things. You're, you're, you've got beautiful comics on your table. Thank you. You've got something debuting at the show. You've got some Trotskys for fans who, you know, really just want to support you, but maybe you already have yeah. most of, of your stuff. So, I, I could, you set yourself up for success. So. I'm trying. <laughs> I like actually thought. Well, thank you. Okay, and where can we find your work online? Uh, something about these. Um, my website, my portfolio website is shunabrowning.com. Uh, I'm Shuna B on Twitter and Instagram. Um, yeah, those are my two main social medias that I use. So, yeah, I'm around. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for sharing, Shuna. I hope you have a good uh, rest of the day at SPX. Thank you, you too. Thank you. <laughs>